Hear those motors, girls? Don't that just tinkle your tinkle? Man, that's what turns me on. Anybody got a nose hair trimmer? I got a big old hair on my nose. Anybody got one of them trimmers, mother? No. What do you want to do, pull it out? The thing's connected to your ass. <laughs> How old am I that grows out of my nose like this, <laughs> son of a bitch? I am not watching this. <laughs> Mm. Stop. Mm. Would you stop already? Let's Did he not go. Oh, you man. <laughs> God, I got that son of a gun. I got it. God. God. That pulled my butt clear up to my neck. You know, I've been racing for 30 years. I've won 13 championships. I've been on fire from here to Australia, and nothing could prepare me for having daughters. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Love and race and don't mix. Brittany's my middle child and she's got some trouble with her boyfriend, Corey. He's a good kid, but he can be a real distraction. And it bothers him that racing takes up so much of her time. All the pressure's starting to get to Brittany. I just hope this situation doesn't blow up in her face. Why do your pants go down to the crack of your ass? Come on. I look at the hair. You goofy looking some bitch. You are. I don't know what my kid sees in you. What do you see in him? As the old saying says, keep your friends close. And the guy who's dating your daughter, closer. And that's why I've hired Corey to do some odd jobs. At least that way, I can keep a close eye on him. Corey. Yep. Corey. Did you sweep this out? Huh? What'd you do, quit working already? <laughs> Your daughter keeps texting me. I'm just trying to clean up some of the mess. I gotta take a pill. He's very polite. He's just cocky little poop head. That's Corey. Yo. So he's having picking on you pretty bad? He wants to get me a pair of suspenders so I don't sag so far. Yeah. What's your next race? You got Gainesville coming up in a weekend. Not this weekend, but next weekend, right? Yeah. Is your dad racing there too? Yep, and Ashley. Florida is not this weekend, but next weekend. Then I have a weekend off. Then I go to Texas, and we're done. Whatever you know what I think about it. What? I know a big issue between Corey and I is that I'm on the road every single weekend and I can't be a girlfriend to him seven days a week. Just what your parents said to you last night, right? What did they say to me last that night? That you're too busy for any uh, extracurricular activities. So if you don't have time for school, then you obviously won't have time for a committed relationship. What are you, pu puppy? Stand over Stop there. Stop it. Stand over there. Stop. I'll stand over here. Huh? Stop it, Dad. You get over and act like a driver. Come here for just a second. OK. <clears throat> How are you doing, OK? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. <clears throat> Remember, no matter what I say to you, you can't rat me out. No, no, I understand. I just want to really keep her mind on focus. Uh -huh. She gets thinking about boys. She can't <laughs> think to drive. Yeah. And I just don't want her getting hurt. Oh, I completely understand. And okay. She just looks nervous. Uh, about your dad thing, I'm not even stressing about it. It's like it's so hard for me to stand here and not like hug you or kiss you. Come on, let's go. Now, Corey's interfering with Brittany's life on and off the track, and it's really starting to get to me. 
I know it seems like I pick on Brittany, but I love her. I adore her, okay? But I'm worried about her evolving. Because those two are, are joining. John, they're the teens. They're all going to be problems. Well, we're going to end up with, with <laughs> it happens. They just get they hug and they rub and they get close. She comes home with her tire pumped up. What are we going to do? I'm sure it'll be fun. I'm going to choke him, and I'm going to make it clear <laughs> that it ain't going to be like, gee, I don't know how it happened, but I'm, but, but I'll marry her. No, I'm going to kill you, OK? And I'll tell you something else. I don't want him in the refrigerator. Nobody goes in and opens your refrigerator. Now I've got a headache. I'm done. Ooh, it's nice. Uh, Corey's biggest complaint is that we don't get to hang out enough. So we decided we're going to hang out tonight. But tomorrow night, I'm going to hang out with my girlfriends. So what do you guys got planned? Are you guys going clubbing? Probably. I don't know. We said last Thursday we were going to go clubbing, and we didn't go. Where are you guys going to go? I don't know. You guys going somewhere over 21? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not 21, so why would it matter? No, I told you, it's not even a big deal. I don't care if you go to clubs. I just, I don't know. Everybody's out there looking for guys. You're the only one in a relationship. So? Single friends aren't good for friends that have relationships. Why? Britt, dude, I seriously never see you. Like, honestly, you know, you have so much stuff in your life. And it, well, you just keep adding more and more and more. We're dating to be committed to one another, you know? It's like we've been together for six months. We just broke so, our house. We, we just broke our house. So you're months. saying that I can't go out with girlfriends then? That's I'm my not problem. That. I'm not yeah, saying you that. get mad every time I go out with a girlfriend. Every time Corey and I hang out, we always spend the time fighting about that we don't get to see each other enough. But it's like, then why are we wasting our time hanging out if we're just going to be fighting the whole time? So it's kind of pointless. There should be a balance, Corey. Like, me and you should hang out, but I still want to hang out with my girlfriend. I don't really care. Do whatever you want. Brittany's gotten three speeding tickets in the last couple of months. Lori's going to have a little talk with her, but I think the time she's spending with Corey is really messing her up. Hi, honey. Hi. I'm making some coffee. You want some? Yeah, I'm good. I need to talk to you about your ticket. Why? Well, we don't think it's important. No. You're going 56 and a 40. That's not bad. No, it's not bad. Not like the 84 you were doing in a 70. You know, you get another one of these, they pull your license. What do you have? What happens then? Are you going to take the bus to college? Mom, it's just a stupid ticket. It's not that big of a deal. I'm not it kidding you. It is a big you. deal. It's one ticket. OK, you just got out of traffic school? Tell me what you learned in there, because less than three weeks later, you had another ticket. Mom, I'm not going to lose my license over one speeding ticket. This is ridiculous. It's not one. You're yes, just... it is. Mm -mm. There's one on my record. Why are you speeding anyway? Because I'm always late for everywhere I go. Why are you late? Because I'm tired. OK. Why are you tired? Because I'm up till oh. 2 in the morning doing homework. Doing homework or visiting <laughs> with Corey? Doing homework last night. He came over and I did homework till 2 in the morning. Well, how can he help you with homework? You're not understanding the seriousness of this at all. You've gotten pulled over plenty of times. You just got out of them. OK, Brittany. I don't think, I think you think this is just all a joke. Are you done? You got anything more to say? No, I do. All right, I'm done. OK. I have my worries about Corey and Brittany. I'm going to take a few minutes to take this kid and have a heart to heart with him. Long day? Every day is a long Every day. Every day is a long day. Corey. Yeah. Let's quit the bull oh, yeah. and jump to the chase here. My kid's on overload. OK. It's some of the car, some of school, but it's mostly you. What is going on with you two? And I don't even want to dress sex. I mean. But God, if it ever happens, and I hope it doesn't, is think about safe sex. Yeah. Well, you don't want to die of AIDS, kid. I know that. You don't want to kill yourself. You don't want to kill her. It's a little too much to hear, but. OK, good. That's it's a, good. It's a little too much to hear, but. Because I could like you. What I'm asking is that you help me a little bit. I will help you. I don't understand. I mean, I go to the races, and I'm just acting like myself. I go up to her, and I hug her and kiss her, and then you get on my case for doing that. I was mad at Joust just about seeing you kiss her. Uh -huh. You know those are my little girls, and it was like everything to me, because all I do is work. Yeah. And I, I don't get along with Lori real well, because I'm such an a Yeah. We're two kids, you know? And like, 
we both fell in love with each other and I make her happy and she makes me happy. And she told me, you know, she likes it when I come to the races because she relaxes. We don't need all this touchy, touchy stuff. At the races, give her a hug, give her a kiss and let her get to work. Let's I can just promise you that. I'll just work. help me out. Yeah, I'll okay? help you out. No. Maybe she thinks she's in love. Yeah. You think she thinks she's in love? I, yeah, I know she thinks she's in love. Are you in love? Yeah. Don't bullshit. No, I'm not bullshit. You're a lover. Jesus, my kid's in love. You me. I need a pill. They make a pill for this? We're done talking about Corey. No, we're not done talking about we Corey. Oh, we're details. never done talking about Corey. We need the juicy gossip before we start the girls' night. He's like, well, he's just like, he's like, it'd be easier if I had a bunch of money and I could travel with you every single weekend, but I can't do that. Did you say I wouldn't want you to? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hello. Why are you asking me if it's okay if you go to a club tonight when you, I just don't get it. Ah. Oh. He's like, I won't go if you don't want me to go. I'm like, why would you ask me? I don't care if you go. Corey is jealous at the fact that I'm always at the track and I want to hang out with my girlfriends. This is really starting to get annoying. Brittany, everyone looks freaking cute and slutty and I don't. is driving me nuts. If he's gonna give me such a hard time, I'm gonna go have fun without him. Okay, how many missed calls do you have? At least 57. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I have five messages from Corey. Corey is going to be so mad at me. I know I want to hear about this one later. So I'm taking all these classes that I shouldn't have taken because back in the beginning of the year, mm -hmm. I had a communications major. Oh, I'm starting to crazy. Is that Corey? Yeah, hello? Hey, what up, what are you doing? Corey, I'm signing. I told you I was doing that all day and I'm doing homework and trying to register before I leave town. Well, I'm at your dad's shop too, so come down and talk to me. Corey, I can't come out and talk right now. I have so hey, much why stuff. Why do you have to act like that? Dude, drop the attitude. Seriously, why don't you just come down and talk to me? Corey, I talked to you like two hours ago before I came in here. Brittany, stop being immature and come down. Seriously, just come what? down. Uh. Why do you have to talk to me this way anyway? Talk to you like, like what, talk Corey? To me like a mature person. You sound like my dad. Are you kidding? Just come downstairs. Lame. Okay. Bye. Wait, wait. Come here. You don't have enough courtesy to come over here. Corey, come on. No, come, come here. Are you can easily talk right to me now? right here. Corey, come inside. No, you can talk to me right here. Corey, my dad's not here, so you don't have to worry about it. Could you come inside, please? Whatever, dude. You have to be childish about everything. I hope you're kidding. I really hope you're kidding. We need to talk. What are you doing this weekend? What do you think I'm doing, Corey? Uh, let me guess, going out of town? Yeah. What's the problem with it, Corey? I don't get it. You Nothing. Never... I never, like, it's like I don't even have a girlfriend. Like, Corey, what am I supposed to do? The first day I ever met you, you asked me, what are you doing tomorrow? Oh, I'm going out of town. I have to go racing. Corey, this is my life. What is your problem? I'm going to be gone for like two days. Yeah, but you're gone at the races with all your stupid little ex boyfriends oh. anyways. Hanging around your little trailer, acting cool. I'm going out there with my family to do a job, Corey. You act like I'm so just what, it's going like out there to your... go party and have fun and hang out with all my friends. And don't even compare it to going to a club because you know that'll just piss me off. Whatever. Racing's your life and... What? Are you saying you have a problem with it? Yeah, actually, I do kind of have a problem with what? it. I have a problem that you can't involve me in it as much as you really should. I'm How? Your, I'm your boyfriend. You can figure out a way. Where are you going with this? I'm done. I'm over it. It's, I'm you're sick of it. You're breaking up with yeah. me because I go out of town too much? Yeah, basically. Wow, you're really supportive. When you could figure out 
So what do you A way to involve me more? Corey, then I we'll invite get back you together, to all the races. But I don't want to be with you. It's over. It's done. Okay, fine. This relationship's bullshit. Whatever. I'm really bummed Corey and I broke up, but now I get to see my friends more, and I haven't been shopping in ages. God, that most of these places uh, take credit cards because I have zero cash. Hey, ladies. Hi. You guys want a reading? Yeah. No. Let's look at your hands. Let's look at your face. The energy looks strong. This year's definitely recovering gear for you, though. Making some big changes, new beginnings for yourself this year. This year's all business, no pleasure. So if you want to focus on schooling, if you want to focus on career, pursue it. You're a person that can only think of one thing at a, at a time, it's telling me. The fortune teller basically told me to move on with my life, which is kind of hard to hear. But with less things on my plate, now I can focus all on racing. Maybe being single is not so bad. I don't know. Hmm. You and Corey. Do you want to call him? Let's enjoy our food. Something's different about Brittany. She's got that real fire in her eyes. And she looks like she means business. Up next on the starting line, that's Brittany Force with her super contracts. As they head down the quarter mile, Brittany wins. And John Force must be proud of all his girls. Good job, girl. Always thank your crew chief. You're doing good, kid. It's awesome. What's wrong with you? Nothing. You should be excited. I am excited. OK, what's wrong? Nothing. I come in here all excited. What's wrong? Corey and I broke up, and that's all. What do you mean you broke up? He told me I love her. He ain't going nowhere, not after the stuff he said to me. It took a lot of wavos. See how I cleaned up my act? I don't swear anymore. After what he said to me in the car that day, did you know we went for, did he even tell you that we talked? Oh, yeah. Just out of the clear blue, I'm asking him questions. He goes, you need to know we love each other. Well, now what What the, what the hell's going on here? Come on. I don't know. We just broke up. Gee. Did he break up with you or did you break up with him? He broke up with me. He broke up with you? That's the dumbest thing a guy could do. Are you OK? Mm hmm? You've been crying? Mm hmm How could somebody not love you? You're Brittany Forrest, OK? A woman that looks like you and goes 190 miles an hour, he ain't going nowhere, OK? I love you. You always got me, because that's what I tell your mother. And she says, oh, that makes me feel better. But I will give you my word right now. He may not show up here at the races, but he will show up. Nobody, nobody leaves the force. Hey. Hey. What are you doing? Nothing. What are you doing here? I just want to come by and talk a little bit. What do you want to talk about? Us. About what I happened. think you made it pretty clear last weekend what. That's what I want to talk about. You broke up with me last weekend and said you didn't want to talk to me again because I'm out of town too much. But yeah, but I figure you know, like, 
I can make arrangements and I could make adjustments to where I could work for your dad a little bit and I could come on the airplane flights and stay and help out maybe. Do some work out there. I don't understand. Know. Like, what you said last weekend is completely opposite of what this is. Like, my life's different without you. You know, it's quiet. Things. You realize you miss me, huh? I do miss you. Yeah. I do. I know you're busy and all. Do you have time to uh, go somewhere with me? What do you want to do? I want to go take you a little surprise, OK? OK. Love and racing don't mix. Being on the road all the time can put a real strain on a relationship. But if Brittany can learn from me, maybe she won't make the same mistakes. knows I've made a lot of mistakes in my marriage, but we're still trying to get it right. Brittany and Corey, I don't know if they'll stay together, but they're giving it their best shot. And as a father, that makes me really proud.